Alrighty guys, here we are. Agents of Smirsh. I believe this is the original or first edition of the game. And we're going to be playing this solo two-handed. We're going to be running two of the um, two of the agents, secret agents. And it's basically, if you don't know what Agents of Smirsh, Smirsh is... It's basically a James Bond movie as a board game. You're going to be doing all kinds of crazy things. Obviously, for licensing issue, you don't get to use James Bond or any any of the late James Bond um, villains or anything like that. But they're all basically the same. We're going up against Dr. Lobo in this matchup. And he's got some henchmen, Mr. Big, Pierre... Vidor, Maximoff, and Darling, and he's got four henchmen. And our object of the game is to, depending on how many players are we're playing with, how many characters we're playing with, we have to meet up with the henchmen and beat the henchmen so many times so we find out information that we can go and find Dr. Lobo. And then depending on how good or bad we do things, Dr. Lobo will have a level, and we have to have all the proper intel uh, to defeat each of his different levels. So, let's show you what I'm talking about. Maybe it'll be easier. So, here's Dr. Lobo over here. You can see he starts way up here. And as we fail tests, as bad things happen, he's going to move down the track. If he ever gets to 9, it's over. His master plan has come into fruition, and he wins the game. Uh, but as he progresses down this track, you will see there are certain things that we're going to need to prevent to spoil his master plan. So we're going to need two blue and two yellow and a red. And those are intel pieces that we're going to be getting as we're going around the board. Uh, then there is his four henchmen. We have to defeat them uh, because we're playing with two players. We have to defeat them four times. And um, yeah, we're going to be playing two characters here. I should mention there is a, it's, it's not a very complex game, so if you're not familiar with this game, you should pick it up pretty quickly. Uh, that's number one. Number two, there is a lot of secret agents that you can play as. Here's Agent X, here's Dexter Kane, Sheena Mars, Dust Flanders, Zyler, Tilly Phillips, Moses Calderon, Dread Todd, Grant Mosey, Rocco Jurgen, uh, Nika Suzuka, Dante Wright, and I think we I think these were the ones we started with. So you can see there's a lot of different characters to play with. Each of them have their own stats, special abilities. They start with different things. So the two that we're going to be playing with are doo -doo -doo -doo. we're gonna be playing as Vinnie Carter agent v1 is his code name blue rider starts with two spycraft no persuasion no deception two athletics and one hand-to-hand -hand combat he starts with four um, resolve and then he starts with four advanced skills as opposed to two. Normally you start with two. He starts with four advanced skills. And he also gets a special secret location mission that he can go to after he completes secret mission one and secret mission two. If he completes secret mission three, he gets a special card. So that is uh, that is Vinny Carter. So he's starting with weapon use. He's starting with seduction. He's starting with adventuring, and he's also uh, deception. And because we're playing with two characters, we get two UN transport markers per character as well. That is agent number one. And agent number two is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Agent number two is Callie Dagger. Callie Dagger, codename Heartbreak. Agent L39. Starts a zero spycraft, two persuasion, one deception, one athletics, 
One hand-to-hand -hand combat starts with five resolve, three health. She only has two special missions. Her special ability is she starts with two UN transports. And because um, we get two tr UN transports, what she gets is one UN transport and she draws a card from the top secret deck. And the card that she actually got was Ruse de Gear. So we can flip up to two intel in the pool or heal all injuries of any player, including herself. So that is good. She also starts with a card, a random status card, and her card she drew was the modified card, which allows her to move up to three spaces each turn. And then she can discard it. Is she uh, discard to pass a failed encounter that is any way involves a car chase or being tailed in a car so that's super cool so and she's got some missions as well and so she gets three u.s tra uh, un transports she starts with disguise and electronics those are her special abilities all right and i've marked on our map Agent 1 and Agent 2, the different locations they got to go to to complete their special missions. Okay. Now, with all that said, because we're playing with two players, two characters, if you're playing with three characters or four characters or five characters or whatever, um, you, you would the, the, the setup is going to be slightly different. But since we're playing with two characters, the setup is... We start with two intel on random spots in the board. So we got to draw fate from the fate card. Lower, slower, board gamer. What is going on, my friend? Good to see you. How you been? Good to see you. Always good to see you, my friend. Come on by anytime. We miss you. We love you. We hope everything's working out for you. And here we go. So we're going to draw two random fate cards. Random fate number card number one is Panama City. So we're going to take our intel, which you can see I just got it stacked up over here. And then we'll shuffle and shake it. And you can just put these in a bowl or whatever, but you can't see what's on the back side. So uh, let me explain what's going on with the intel so you guys understand the concept here. So on the back side of the intel, we're going to have the blue markers and the yellow and the red. And like I said, as we do things, Dr. Lubo is going to move, and let's say he ends up on a five. We're going to need to have two blue and a yellow and a red in the intel pool at the end of the game or we lose. So if this was what we ended up with, we would lose the game because we need two blue, we don't have two blue, a yellow and a red. So the object is with the intel is to get the intel that's going to match what we have to do to defeat Dr. Lobo. And, of course, the farther he goes down the track, the more things we're going to have to get. So, with the intel, it's all about getting the intel and making sure uh, that we can uh, defeat him when it comes time. But, before we can even face off against Dr. Lobo, we have to defeat his henchmen four times because we're playing with two players. If you're playing with three players, you have to beat him five times. All right, so first intel is going to Panama City. Well, that's kind of convenient because that's pretty close to between where our two characters. Uh, Callie Dagger starts up in New York and Vinnie Carter starts down here in Patag Patagonia. Now, Patagonia, you normally can't go to, but he starts there. So, um, and he's... He's agent number one, so he's got three missions. One right there, one right there, and right there. That was pretty lucky that he drew those. Agent two's got a mission here, and way, way up over there. You can barely see it. There it is. All right. So, intel is going to Panama City. We randomly draw uh, an intel there, and we put it out. The other thing we do is we do that again. Where's our fate deck? Here's our fate deck. We're going to do that again. And it's going to go to Silong in North America. North America, Silong. What the hell?
where is It says North America, Silong. What the hell? I'm. Where is this area? Uh, not sure. It says North America, but I'm going to ignore that card and move on to the next one because I don't know where it is. So let's go to the next one. The next one is, well, it's New York. That's perfect. That's right where our agent starts, right there in New York. That worked out well for us. Good thing we drew Long first. I don't know where Long is. That's crazy. You have Miami, New Orleans, Mexico City, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Seattle, Regina, 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 and Ottawa, New York, uh, North Atlantic Ocean, the islands, blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's, that's, uh, oh, the other thing we have to do now, hmm, this is the other thing, because we're playing with two characters. We're playing with two to make things fair for the enemies. We're going to be upgrading one of the two, one of the four henchmen to level two. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's see what we roll and see which one's going to get upgraded. Well, there is no five, dummy. Number two. So Mr. Big is going to start at level two. So there you go. And each one of these has got a special location marker we don't know who's who and we put these down and we shake 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 them up shake shake rattle and roll and nobody's gonna know who is who and then when it comes time we'll put these guys out there and boom okay now the other important thing in this game is you have to decide how you're gonna play it there is a huge stack of cards that give you your random events uh oops here you can see there's a huge stack of cards and depending on if you're in an ocean or north america or south america europe africa asia depending on where you are in the world you're going to draw one of these random cards that is option number one option number two is instead you have this small deck of cards and basically what it tells you is you draw one of these and then it refers to a section in this book, which has got thousands and thousands and thousands of different, uh, thousands of different um, outcomes here. And so I don't know which way is going to be better, or easier, or harder or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it this way first and we'll see how it goes. If you want to play a quicker and easier game, you just do the cards because they're a lot easier. All your events are written right on the cards. You don't need to look anything up. You don't need to make any decisions, right? So that is uh, that. And as I mentioned, we have a whole bunch of different uh, agents to play in this game. Each with their own special. But every time you play, it's going to be completely different. You're going to have different events different, different outcomes you're going to see all kinds of different things all right so agent number one are you ready are you ready here we go uh before we start actually um let's put those there that's fine okay before we start i should mention there is a few things that we're not playing with there's this special agent of Smirsh, the director's watchful eye. Kind of a, a card, a special card that comes in the game. Maybe it's an extra add-on. It came in my game anyways. Um, that kind of kind of allows you, if, if somebody's new to the game, to kind of give them a little bit of a boost or bonus or whatever. So if you're playing with a kid or somebody that's, that's not familiar with the game, you can give them this card to kind of help them out. There's that. The other thing is, there's also a couple special 
henchmen that we're not playing with, the Shadow and the Gambler. There's a couple extra special rules about these guys. We're not going to be using them uh, in this mission at all, or in our mission. Okay. Uh, last, before we get started, last thing is there is an expansion. Swagman's Hope. Uh, for this game, you must own, of course, Agents of Smirsh to use this expansion. Basically, what this expansion does, it adds another player board. Australia, some new agents, some new cards, and, st and new tokens, and all kinds of things. Um, but it basically adds a new player, player board out there. A new area for you to go explore and stuff. I don't have space for that, so we're not going to be playing with any of that stuff. If any of the cards come up that say Australia or whatever, we're just going to kind of ignore it and draw another card. Okay, with all that said, I think we have got the backstory ready to go. Our agents are ready, and we are set to go. Um, there is a nice quick reference rule book on the back of the fuel manual. It basically gives you outline of what you can do. You have a movement phase. Uh, where you can rest and recuperate to health, to injuries. Uh, or you can move. You can move. Basically, the default movement is two spaces. Or you can move from any airport to any other airport that's open. You can exert yourself and spend one of your resolve to move one extra space. Uh, anytime you move into an ocean space, though, you must stop. Then when you're done, you have to have an encounter phase. The encounter phase will be to draw an encounter, which is basically again looking up things in the rule uh, in the uh, in in the the book of encounters, right? Uh, and uh, then you're going to resolve the encounter. Then you're going to take the villain phase. Then you're going to resolve. Anything, any interactions with the villain. And there's your setup modifications that we just went through. Two players. We're going to add two intel to the board at random locations. Right. Did we forget to do that? No, we did our two intel. That's right. Um, and it, unfortunately, it doesn't mention about upgrading the one of them to level two. But I believe that's pretty correct. Okay. So we are ready to go with our movement phase. I'm going to probably keep this sheet up. Uh, the one thing that this game ha does, and before we get started, is there is five dice that go into a bag. They're each color coded red, black, green, blue, and I don't know. We'll call that red, I get. And that's not red. It's, I don't know, burgundy, burgundy. Blue, green, black, and red. And each one of these has a certain outcomes on them. This is a failure. The guns are successes. And each of them, you can see the, the red actually has like three successes and three failures. The black dice actually has four successes on it. One failure, but it also has an injury times two. So you're going to take two injuries. Again, we only have three hit points on our character, so taking two injuries is pretty bad. Uh, and each one of these dice is different. You put these in the bag, and when it's time for an encounter test, you may, may or may not be drawing out of the bag. You always roll this dice, which is a uh, default dice. It gives you one success. There is three failures on it. There's one injury times one, and there's one heal times one. So you always roll this dice plus any of the dice. So if I have a three skill, I'm going to be rolling three dice plus this dice. I'm going to be rolling four dice, and I, you know, I might need one success. I might need two successes. We'll see it when it happens. All right, agents, let's go. Here we go. We need to. He needs to go up to Salvador. For his secret mission. He also needs to go to Lima. For a secret mission. He also needs to go to the Pacific Ocean. But he can only do this mission. After he does these two. So Lima has got to be last. So he's got to come. He's got to come over to the Pacific Ocean. And. He is. He's actually again. Movement is two spaces. Right. 
Movement is two spaces. So he's going to move. Again, I got these guys laying down. I think it's going to be easier for you guys to see them if they're laying down than if they're standing up on their little tokens. I think it'll probably be easier if they're just laying on the map. Uh, but it might be harder for you guys to see where they're at. But he starts here. He's going to go one and then two. So he's going to go to Osoro and then Santiago. And then he's going to exert himself from four down to three. And he's going to go one extra space, which you can do. And he's going to land. He's going to land in the Pacific Ocean out there. He's going to land in the Pacific Ocean. And so he's got a secret mission here. But we can't do that until after he resolves his encounter. He's going to have an encounter in the... Actually, he's going to have an encounter in the ocean. Now, this is a little weird that we would end up having this. There is this little chin chin here, right? And the first thing we do with ocean encounters is we roll a d6. We're going to roll a d6. We're going to find out what he's got going on. It's a 1. So, suspicious travelers. So, we're going to be looking at section 46 of the rule book. And it's response group C. Response group C. What does that mean? Well, what that means is we look at our group reactions, C, group C, and we can choose one of these. We can choose to be obs observant, quick action, test your limits, with determination, get assistance, let's have some fun, or at all costs. Depending on what we choose, it's going to give us a different outcome in the rule book because we're going to look at section 46 dot whatever group we choose. Say we choose group four, we're going to choose, we're going to be at 46 dot four and then we draw a fate guard to find out the last number too. So of group C, we would probably use something like Spycraft. Athletics are his two strong suits. Athletics and spycraft. So something that's spy. Hmm. Get assistance. Let's have some fun at all costs. Observe. Observe. Observe might be spycraft. We're going to go with one. We're going to choose option number one. So we're going to look at 46.1.1. And we look at this, and we look at the ocean, and it's a 1. So it's 46, 46, dot 1, dot 1. So that is, that's the section of the rule book we're going to be looking at. 46, dot 1, dot 1. 46, 46, 46, dot 1. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and cover up the text that shows you what your outcomes are. You shouldn't know what your outcomes are. Okay, 46.1.1. Right there it is. The UN asks you to investigate a, the cargo on a merchant vessel. You take pictures, getting evidence of the crew transporting drugs. This type of illegal activity isn't a direct concern of the UN, so you hold the pictures to pass on to port authorities. On the last day of your voyage, there's a knock on your door. Three sailors and a captain stand outside demanding to search your room. We need to test hand-to-hand -hand plus two, and we pass with speed. So what does that mean, right? Test hand-to-hand -hand plus two, pass with speed. So what that means is we automatically pass this test if we have the special ability, which there's a whole bunch of special abilities, if we have the speed special ability. We don't have speed. We have deception, adventure, weapon use, and seduction, which didn't come into play in this. So we don't auto-pass it. But what we do need to do is we need to test our hand-to-hand -hand plus two. So our hand-to-hand... -hand is one plus two is three. You got it. So we're going to draw three dice out of the bag. 
One, two, three. Three dice. And we got our gray dice who always roll the green dice. We need a success. One success. We need a gun. We need a gun for a success. Here we go. Here we go. We got a failure, a failure, a failure, and an injury. Boy, this game is off to a great start. Woohoo! All right. So not only did we fail, but we take an injury as well. So we've taken one hit point of damage. That's not good. And three failures, which is not good either. Yikey. This game is horrible. Oh my God. It's broken. Now, because we failed the test, yes, we failed the test, Dr. Lobo gets to move up his track. Anytime you fail a test, he moves up his track. That's not good. That's probably bad news, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're going to shuffle his deck. Now, here's what we do. We shuffle his deck and we draw a card. They're two-sided. One side gives us the end of turn results. The other side gives us a failed result. In this case, there's a big two. He moves two spaces. If he gets a nine, it's over. As so the villain advancement. Dr. Lobo allowed on count allowed on council to select near oh Dr. Lobo is allowed to select the next pope and nominates himself. So he moves up two on the track. That's not good. We got a new pope. It's Dr. Lobo. Ah, uh, that didn't start off great. No, it didn't. Ah, uh, all right. So he fails his mission. He fails his encounter. Now he has his special mission in the Pacific Ocean which is this one right here. So we will slide those out. Pacific Ocean Seeker Mission. After resolving your ocean encounter, immediately move to the Pacific Island, bloop, which is right there, and gain two blue... UN transports. Wow, that is amazing. One, two. You infiltrate a Smurf facility and level it, level it using explosives. So not all is lost. He completed his special mission. He's got this done now. And he only needs to do one more. Then he can go complete his end of game mission. All right. So that is his turn. That was the encounter phase. Now we have the end of turn villain phase. So we draw another villain card, but this time instead of reading this side, we read this side. End of your turn event. The Prime Minister Yorsters sends prisoners to work in Smirsh diamond mines. So we remove intel in South America. That's not good. There goes our intel. Goodbye, intel. And we add intel in Montevo and Warsaw. So we will add one in Warsaw, which is probably over there somewhere. Uh, where? Hmm. Warsaw. That's like in right here. Boom. All right. We'll add that. Where's the other one? Monte Verde. Monte something another. Uh, where would that be? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, there's Seelong right there. We did cheat. Look at that. We could have got, we did find Seelong. Remember Seelong? We started the game with Silong. It said North America. That must have been a typo. Silong is not in, in uh, North America. It's in Asia. So, boops on them. Oops on them. So, we still need to find Monte, Monte Vir, Virde. Monte, Monte, oh, right here it is. Right there. All right. Boom. There's some intel for you. 
And then the airports close Mexico City. So we have all these airport closed markers. We go to Mexico City. You can't use the airport there anymore. And that is turn one done. Turn one for Agent Vinnie Garter. Was it successful? Ah, uh, hmm. He was a failed his mission. Dr. Lobo's the new Pope. That's not good. He moved up twice on his track. We need a minimum of two blue intel to win now. Minimum. I mean, he could, you know, he could keep going up. If he ever gets to nine, it's over. Let's see what Callie, Callie can do. Callie. Callie. Callie Dagger. Let's go, Callie. All right, so she actually starts with Intel. So, when you're on a, 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 Intel location, you have one of two things you can do with the Intel. You can have two things. You can do one of two things with the Intel. Number one is you can just simply take the Intel and put it into our pool. So, at the end of the game, if it matches what we need... That would be good. We don't know what it is. It could be red. It could be yellow. It could be blue. It could be whatever. We're going to need, you know, depending on where Dr. Lobo ends up. The second thing you can do with Intel is you can find out where one of the henchmen is hiding out. One of the henchmen is hiding out somewhere. We need to go and fight them four times before we can even fight Dr. Lobo. So do we want to... Bring in the intel into our pool, or do we want to try to find out where one of the bad guys is? In this case, I have no idea. We're going to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to find out where one of the henchmen is. So again, we shuffle these up. We don't know who's or who's, and we find a faint card. Boom. It's in Logos. We're just going to take this guy. Logos in Africa. Logos right there. So one of the henchmen is supposed to be hiding out in Logos in Africa. We don't know who it is. We could go there and fight him if we wanted to. Each of the henchmen has a special fight sequence that you go through. You need to pass... Different events, like, for example, if we were to fight Fedor Maximov, um, you have to pass any skill. You can use any skill. Oh, no, wait, you got to uh, test persuasion to outsmart Fedor, right? So you have to test persuasion. Right now, Callie is a two. Uh, Vinny is a zero, so obviously we would like to have her go if we knew if this guy was over there, but we don't know who's over there. So it's kind of a cramp suit. It's kind of a cramp suit. Uh, anyways, that is, uh, so now she has an intel. She has an intel encounter. So, what we do is we take our North American cards, because that's where she's at. We shuffle these up. All right. Let's draw one of these. So, it's number 31, and we're doing response group F. Response group F is negotiate. It's, well, let's find out what the mission is. It's a deep covert agent. Deep cover agent. Learn how to read. Deep cover agent. So, Section 31, and now, Covert, a deep cover agent. So, she's good at persuasion. That's her best thing is persuasion. Do we have anything to negotiate? She's going to negotiate. Sneak attack, reason with, act unconcerned, lie, or be honest. Um, pers what would be the best with persuasion? What do we think? Hmm negotiate or reason with let's go with negotiate no let's go with reason with so that's a three so 31.3 and then we draw a faint card in this case there was an intel there so we go to number five so we simply go to the rule book and we look at 
31. Dot three, dot five. 31, dot three, dot five. 31, dot three, dot five. All right, I see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here we go again. 31.3.5. A terrorist cell is spying on diplomats, and you work for months to get inside. Your ability to carry out orders soon impresses your new bosses, but some have reservations about you. You don't seem to want to hurt anyone, says the cell eater. That's not good. He brings a young teenage boy who is caught stealing. He wants you to give the boy a workover. The guys act like he's running a mafia outfit. You try to explain that unnecessary beatings will draw unwanted attention, but he's unimpressed and pulls a gun. We test hand-to-hand -hand minus two. Again, we can pass with speed or weapon use. That would have been great if it was Vinny. Vinny has weapon use, but we're not doing Vinny. We're doing Callie. Callie doesn't have... She does not have, and her hand-to-hand -hand is 1, minus 2 is minus 1. So minus 1. So, she's got, of course, we always get to roll our die here. So 2, she's a minus 1. You can use your uh, resolve to increase added die, but taking it from minus one to zero doesn't seem like a good use. So, we're just hoping to roll well on this dice. Let's see, if we have another failure, this is this is this game could be very over very quickly. This game could be very over very quickly. She is failed. So she's going to spend a resolve to re-roll. Again, there's only one chance of success. But if we fail again, this could go really south really quickly. So we would like a success. That's not a success. So another failure. Wow. Okay. Another failure. Let's see what we get with the failure. You try to maintain your cover without seriously hurting the young teenager. You punch the kid in the stomach again. The boss yells. You punch him again and continue until the boy passes out. Good, laughs the boss. Now get out, spy. Ooh, psychiatric and one injury. So we've got psychiatric issues. And we've taken an injury. Great. So, two failures in a row. Ah, at the beginning of your encounter tests, roll a d6. If you roll one, then you automatically fail the encounter. You may discard this card as your reward for completing a secret mission. Great. Lovely. That was another failure. So, let's find out what Dr. Lobo does. Villain Advancement. Underground Arctic base detected by U.S. satellites. He advances one space. He's now up to three. Crew, it's going to be over before you know it. Uh, the War Room yesterday, you guys brought up the old games from War Game Design Group. There have been a lot of free demos of complete games just thought you might bring that up next week i remind me and maybe i will <laughs> you can't expect me to remember everything can you no all right well that was two uh two missions for our agents two failures we're batting a thousand this game is easy oh my god all right uh then we have the end of our turn event so the end of our drone event is captured smirch agents discovered 
to possess robotic implants. Remove intel from Africa. There is no intel in Africa. And we add intel in La Paz, which is right there. And Kiroshnoyashk. All right. Which is way over. Nope, that's not it. Uh, right there it is. Woo! Way over there. And then airport closes in Nairobi. Uh, so we'll take a Nairobi airport closes. Boom. Done. All right. There you go. That is two turns, two fails, two unsuccesses. We got to get some successes. Dr. Lobo's already at three. We need a minimum of two blue and a yellow now. We have no intel in there. We haven't even fought any of his henchmen yet. And, um, hmm, yeah, it hasn't been good. Oh, he's here, right? He's already completed that mission. All right, what is he going to do? What's he going to do? He needs to go to Salvador. There's intel everywhere. Let's see if we can get busy with it. Okay, let's see here. He's gonna take, he's gonna take, he's got plenty, he might as well use one. Uh, he's gonna fly. Uh, no, he, I don't think he can because there's no airport symbol there. I think you can only fly from airport to airport, which kind of stinks. So I don't think he can actually do that. So all he can do is move to the Pacific Ocean because, again, anytime you move into the ocean, you have to stop. And uh, let's just double check to make sure two things. Number one, when moving and moving into an ocean, you have to stop. I remember reading something like that. So let's just double check. Mm -hmm. If traveling by airplane, players must already be at a city with an open airplane and end in another city with an open airplane. So yes, you have to go from airport to airport. So that was one of the questions. The other question was... Players must always stop if they move into an ocean location. There you go. I answered both of my questions pretty quickly. That's pretty good. All right. So, nothing he can do. He's on the, he had to go to the island. The only way to get off the island is to go back to the Pacific Ocean. Unfortunately, that's where he's going to have to go. So, he will, he will, um, he will. Uh, yeah, we're going to have, he's going to have to have an ocean encounter again. So, roll the d6, find out what kind of, six, license to kill, uh-oh, 51, response group H, 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 be noisy, all in, the setup, cheat, I'm just a natural, it's my good looks, well, He does have athletics. Anything with athletics would be good. Or spycraft. Just a natural. It's my good looks. Cheat. The setup. All in and be noisy. Hmm. I'm going to go with I'm just a natural. So it's five. So it is going to be 51.5. And then we draw a fate card, and there was intel there, so it was two. So, what was the number again? 51, 5, 2. 51, 5, 2. Maybe we can get a success, people. Let's see. 
51, 5, 2. All right, here we go. You're not sure who thought it was a good idea to put a dartboard on a boat. Still, you have to admit that the rolling of the waves does add something to the challenge to a game that has pointless simple to a marksman like yourself. You take the dart and throw two terrible 20s and a triple five. The sea really is making things difficult. As you collect the darts from the board, you catch sight of a glint reflecting in a porthole. Test athletics minus one or hand to hand plus one, but you need two successes. And you pass with weapon use. Yes! Finally, we have weapon use, so we automatically pass. Let's see what happens. You grab the darts and turn, throwing them towards the glint as you do. You strike the assassin's gun hand and hit him in the chest. He drops the gun and staggers back. You are on him in a flash. Up any skill. Up any skill? Yes, that's better. We can up a skill. We're going to up... Deception to one, because it's at zero, in case we need it for something. All right. Yay. Uh, and then we have end of turn. Boom. End of turn event. Meeting of, oh, uh, and, oh, we have to just, oh, uh, no, he couldn't get to that. Right. We have to decide what we're doing here. Uh, end of turn. Meaning of 27 nation. Leaders gather in New York to discuss Smurfs threat. Remove intel in Asia. Well, uh, that's Asia. Okay. Uh, and add intel to Mexico City. Okay. And airport closes in Warsaw. Oh, no, that was bad. We were going to take a thing over there. So, that's, well, there was a lot going on over here. If we can get busy with some good stuff. All right. That's, well, um, Vinny actually had a pretty good turn there. He, he was successful, thwarted his assassin, gave him the old one-two smasheroo, and upped his skill. And uh, and got to move. All right, now, Callie. Callie is still in New York. She's with a plane, so she can go anywhere there's a plane. And she is going to. There's a plane over here in Logos where we can go after the, one of the henchmen. We, could, we can't fly over to Warsaw anymore. Because that's now closed, unfortunately. She needs to come over here for her second mission. She needs to come down here for her other mission as well. So, you know what? She's going to use her UN transport. She's going to go from New York, boom, to La, La Paz. La Paz. And then we're going to take the intel and put it in the pool. Yay! We finally have something in the pool. All right, then she has an encounter. It is South America time. South America. All right. Now we want to make sure we have this R Intel separate. What we should probably do is... Hmm, we will use our Intel. We're just going to put it over here on top of on top of him so it doesn't get mixed up with the other intel all right south america it is let's go here we go boom personal vendettas Ooh, personal vendettas section eight 
Response group E. 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 Take charge. I'd rather be lucky. Unorthodox. Frightened. Joke. Trust no one. Again, she's good at persuading. Persuading. Take charge. Take charge. Rather be lucky. No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna take charge. Group one. Number one. Alright. So it's gonna be eight, one, and there was intel there, so five. Eight one five. Eight one five. In our big book of eight, section eight. One Five. There it is. All right. A15. Move to the Amazon. So she is moving to the Amazon. Which is going to be right there. All right. 815. Smirsh has been manufacturing experimental drugs and selling them. In the poor regions of Brazil, mostly to teenagers, you are searching for a site where a rare chemical is harvested for the drug you investigate. Leads to a floating village where many inhabitants say they have worked for an unknown organization cutting and processing trees. A hidden man meets you in a cottage and shows you how to find a site. Test athletics minus two. Pass with adventuring. She doesn't have it. He would have done it. She doesn't have it. She has minus two to adventure or athletics. She's only a one. Minus two again is zero. Is a minus one. So even if she, even if she adds one, ah, uh, she's gonna fail again. We're gonna need a really good roll, Callie. Hang on. This is anything with the car. No. No. All right. Well, we can just hope for a good roll. That's a good roll. That's a success. Holy cow. One in six. She did it. Callie, you're amazing. You've done it. Lonely. All right, uh, with the help of the map drawn by your strange visitor, you find the site and destroy it. You get the unknown spy. Do, 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 do. Unknown spy. Mm hmm. Well, third from the bottom. Of course it was. The unknown... Oh, no, wait. Now, actually... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. At the beginning of your encounter test, roll a D6. If you roll one, you automatically fail the encounter. So, right, we need to do this because she's psychotic from having to beat up that little boy. And Okay, so that... Okay, we're fine with that. So we pass the test. And then... She can just, uh, you may discard this card as your reward for completing a secret, oh, for completing a secret mission. Um, so she still gets this. The unknown spy, place the unknown spy near the board. Any player may call upon him for help. Discard after use, automatically pass a failed encounter. Woo! Nice. We like that. Lovely. All right, so um, that was this. Great. A pass, a success. Woo, two successes in a row. Makes our life a little bit easier. I'm telling you, makes it way easier. South America, we can put that back. North America. All right. 
We got one until now. Um, all right, so end of end of turn. End of turn event. Bomb detonates inside the White House, killing the first lady. Ooh, that's not good. Remove until from North America. So this one goes away. Wait, no, that just that's actually Mexico. Uh, that's actually South America. We don't have any in the purple. Uh, and then we add Intel to Salong, which is not in North America, people. Salong is way over here. And that's it. All right. We've completed one, two, three, four. We've completed six turns. That's pretty good. Completed six turns. We, Dr. Lobo's moved up to third rank already. We've completed a couple of our missions. Let's go. All right, it is Vinny, Vinny's turn, Vinny. Vinny, what are you going to do, Vinny? He can't complete his secret, his third mission, until he completes this one. So he needs to go here first. There's also intel here, which he could get to. So he's going to go one, two, and he's going to put the intel there. All right. And he's going to have an encounter in South America. South America. All right, let's see what kind of encounter he's going to have. It is call to, call to action, roll a d6. Uh-oh. One. One or two, conduct a battle with Darling. Okay, so we're going to have an encounter, a battle with Darling, which is one of the henchmen. Darling. So we need to test deception. Uh, who is this? This is this is uh, Agent Carter, Vinnie Carter. So test deception. Well, guess what? That was the one he just upgraded. Was deception. So he gets a, a die to trick Darling into leaving her guard down. So we need to trick her into leaving her guard down. She's level one. All right. Deception. So he gets a die. I, I'm not used to drawing dice out of the bag. This is only like the second time we've done that. Is there five in here? There is five. Okay, I wanted to make sure. So we get a die. Let's draw the good one. There's a, not a very good one. The burgundy one is not very good. The blue one is only two successes. Four fails. Oh, that's not good. Two successes and four fails. Oh, and just so you know, if you want to know the backstory, Darling, her birth name is Tenshi Gunma. Gunma? Tenshi Gunma. Darling is a pet project of Dr. Lobo, who took her in as an abandoned child and trained her extensively in the deadly arts. Daring adapted a keen instinct in the use of poison. A simple scratch from her fingernail will prove fatal. Beautiful and deadly, Darling is the near-perfect assassin. Well, let's find out if we can maybe get lucky. Oh, wait. Actually... It says here, call to action, roll a d6. Or, before rolling the d6, you may elect to take one injury to escape and immediately draw a new encounter. That's before you roll, though. All right, we did not do that before we rolled, so we're stuck fighting, darling. Let's see what happens. It's going to be bad. No! Another success! Yes! Oh, Vin we're starting to come back now. Vinny, 
Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. So we fought once. One of the henchmen. Now, whenever you defeat a henchman, they level up. Blunk. You get your reward. We pass up any skill. And she goes to level two now. So next time it's test persuasion minus one. And then if she goes to level three, it's text, test athletics minus two. And yeah, if they ever are level three and you defeat them, then they're knocked out. Ooh, yeah. So she's now moved up to level two. Um, conduct a battle with throwing. All right. So that was pretty good. I think it worked out pretty good. Anyways, uh, so we got the intel. Boom, we defeated her. And now we have the end of event, end of turn. End of turn event. Children in Cape Town brainwashed into joining end time cults. Remove intel from North America. Again, there is no... Nothing in North America. And we're going to add Intel into Salvador. Add Intel into Salvador. Which is all. Oh, both of us have to go there. That's great. And Cape Town. Which is there. Wow. Both of us have to go there to complete missions. Okay. That's pretty good. Some of the uh, stuff fell off my table. I wanted to fix it up before something happened. Okay, so that's the end of his turn. Put this back in the bag. I can't believe we had two, three successes in a row. That is awesome. All right, let's see if she can complete one of her missions. She is right here um, in the Amazon Basin. She's going to go to Cape Town and then here. And there's intel there, so we're going to move that over there, because now we have three intel. And she can complete one of her missions, secret missions, which will allow her to get rid of this. But first, we have to have another encounter in South America. What's going on in South America right now? All right, let's see what we get here. Journey Trick, 45. Response Group D. Snoop Around Charm. Yeah, that sounds good. Act Strangely. Act Innocent. Use Force. Praise. Won't Be Fooled. She is pretty good at persuasion. Pretty good at persuasion. So she's going to try to charm D. So it's two. So it is going to be 45.2.5. 45. What was charm? Two. Dot five. 45. Dot two. 45, 45, dot two, dot five. All right. 
45.2.5. Where are the security guards? Screams darling. What is going on here? You love playing tricks on goons. They can be so dumb. You emerge from the shadows and confront darling. Who was only one bodyguard by her side. They jumped at, at the free pizza and burritos. You find them drunk at Pedor's Tavern. We had a grand old time. Of course, I had to leave early. I have an uh, appointment at, with your funeral advisor. Conduct a battle with Darling. Ooh, this is twice in a row we are fighting Darling. Wow. So now, she's persuasion minus one. She's got a two. Minus one is one die. She's only getting one die. We can hope for the good dice. Come on, there's a good one in here. Black or red are the two of the best. Red or black, come on. No, no this is the worst die. It's one success. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, before we even do this, beginning of your encounter test, roll a d6. If you roll one, you automatically fail the encounter. No. All right. Come on. We can beat her. Come on. We can beat her. Oh, we got to take an injury. We take an injury. Now we could spend a resolve to re-roll one of the dice. And I am going to. I don't want my injury. I don't want an injury. So let's, re let's spend our resolve to re-roll. Come on. Heal one. That's better. So we can actually heal an injury. And then we, could, we have failed it, but we could use the unknown spy to automatically pass a failed encounter. Place the unknown spy near the board. Any player may call upon him for help. Discard after use. Automatically pass a failed encounter, which we're going to do. Boom. So she's been defeated a second time. She's gone up to level three. We beat her back to back. We beat her down. So this card goes away. Unfortunately, that was a great card. Absolutely wonderful card. Um, where am I going to put it so I don't think I have it? I'll put it over there, I guess. And now she can complete her secret mission as well. In Salvador. Uh, upon investigating an encounter in Salvador, after initiating an encounter in Salvador, you may either gain a blue UN transport or draw a faint card and place it face up near this card. Once you have traveled to the location on the faint card, gain two top secret cards. Um, we, I think, are just going to ignore this and just, upon, you may discard this card as a reward for completing a secret mission. So we're going to complete the secret mission and discard our psychotic. I don't think we get to do this as well, since we're discarding it because of this card. Yeah, use the unknown spy. That's what I did. So we're going to get rid of this. We don't get the reward, I don't think, from this because we're discarding it because of this card. So that worked out pretty good too. So things are coming along smoothly. Maybe. I'm not sure it's smooth, but it's, it's better than it was. Okay. So she's got rid of that. Um, she completed her secret mission. Normally you get a bonus for completing them. Unfortunately for her, she had to get rid of her bad one. Uh, and then we have the end of turn. End of turn. Smurfs 
sells yellow cake uranium to African doomsday cult. Remove intel in Africa. Once it go, there is intel down there. So that goes away. And you add intel into Novo Cybriscus in Russia. It is Novo Cybriscus. Novo Cybriscus. Wow, there's a lot of intel over there, boys. Okay, that is the end of her turn. Again, not bad, not horrible. Oh, I gotta remember. She's got a car. She can actually travel three zones. All right. He's going up to Salvador. Boom, boom. So he can complete his mission. He's got a mission there as well. So he's going to have uh, he's going to have an encounter first. Again, South America. I don't know if you're supposed to shuffle these all back together. Uh, emergency orders. 37. 37. He can choose to taunt, overreact, stay calm, cry, blend in, stand out, or laugh at. Mm-hmm. Let's try blend in five. Let's try five. So it's 37, five, and there's no intel there, so it's just a one. So 37, five, one. 37, five, one. Okay. It's on per page 37 of your manual if you're following along at home. A note is slipped into your pocket as you stroll down the city street. The union wants you to look for an assassin who's going to strike during a parade this weekend. But the assassin is very sharp and will notice anything out of the ordinary. You must disguise yourself well. You make friends with the girl at the hotel and attend the parade as a pair of harmless tourists. Deception plus two and pass with disguise. Oh, he doesn't have disguise. I thought he did. She's got disguise. Who are we doing? No, it is him. It is him. It is him. It's his turn. That's too bad. She would have auto-passed. But he does get plus two. With deception. He's got one. Plus two is three. So he's going to throw... He's going to roll three dice here. Come on. Let's get a decent... Let's get a decent one out of the bag. I know there's some decent dice in here somewhere. Burgundy, blue, and red. Okay. We only need one success. Come on. Come on. Success on the blue dice. Fail, fail, fail. But all we need is one success. So that... <coughs> is a success. Let's see what our, what we get out of this. Pass. You spot the man on a roof overlooking the parade. He has an unfortunate accident, which the police assume is suicide. Up any skill. Up any skill. So. He is going to up another skill. Persuasion. He's going to take up to one. Nice. Nicely done. And end of turn. Airport's uh, security at all times is high. Remove intel from North America. Nothing in North America. Add intel to Numbai. Numbai. Uh, that's 
Nimbai. Nimbai. Where the hell is Nimbai? Numbai, yes. Oh, that's over here. Numbai, there you go. All right. Airport closes in Logas. Logas. Uh, that where is that? Is that where we're at? No, that's. Lagos. Lagos. Logos. Lagos. Hmm. Where is Logos? L. A G O S Lagos uh, Africa. Yeah, you would think it would be in Africa somewhere. Oh, right here. It was covered up by the, the, the where the uh, where the henchmen's hanging out. So we've actually fought the henchmen twice so far. We fought Darling twice. We beat it. Or we beat her twice. So actually, you know what he's going to do? He's not going to do that. What he's going to do is he is going to up his athletics to three from two to three. Because if we have to fight her again, she's athletics minus two. So he would be able to fight her and stand a chance. So that's what he's going to do with, with the bonus that he was getting. So, all right. Back to Callie. Come on, Callie. Let's do this. We can still win this game after the terrible start. All right. She is right here. The, our two spies are hanging out together. Let's see what was she needs to do. There is no airport there, unfortunately. There's Intel up here in Mexico City. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about coming over here to fight him, but if I come over there, as soon as I go in the ocean, I have to stop my turn, which is kind of a bad thing. But because she's got the modified guard, she can move up to three spaces. Normally, you can only move two. She's going to go one, two, three, and she's going to come up and get this intel. So... We're going to put the intel over here. Now we got four over there. If the game was to end right now, we would still need to have two blue and a yellow to win. Uh, you know, we could have three red there, four red. Who knows? We don't know. So, that is what she is doing. So she's going to have an encounter. And this is actually in, again, South America. So we're going to have another South America. We do need to go after our guys, though. S tortured 25. Uh-oh. 25G. Taunt, overreact, stay calm, cry, blend in, stand out, laugh. She hasn't upped any of her skills yet. She's still a two in persuading. I think she's going to cry. She's going to cry. She's going to try and persuade him that she's cry, cry. 
four, four, twenty-five, four, twenty-five, four. And there is Intel there, so it's a one. Twenty-five, four, one. Twenty-five, four, and one. Twenty-five. 25, 4, 1. Here we go. Twenty-five, four, one. Tell me where the plans for the beta gun are. The torture touches two wires to your leg and you scream as you smell your flesh burning. Then you cry. You hear you need you need him to think that the information you give him is genuine. But to be honest, you may be crying for real. I can't tell you where they are. He increases the power and touches the wires to your leg again. Test deception plus two. Pass with adventurer. No, he's the adventurer. We're getting this ass backwards. No. All right. She's disguised in electronics. That would have been helpful. But she does get a deception plus two. Her deception is one. Plus two is three. She's got a shot at it at least. Come on. Three good dice out of the bag. We haven't seen the black one yet. I know the black one's in here somewhere. Come on. Black one. There's the black and the red one. We got the two best dice out at the same time. All right. Come on, Callie. One success is all we need. One success. Come on, Callie. Come on. Here we go. Callie! Success! And no no injuries or nothing. Woohoo! All right. Pass. You give him the details of the safe... You give him the details of the safety deposit box. Where you can find fake schematics. He seems convinced that you're telling the truth. And sends one of his goons to the bank. Fortunately, Agent XXY rescues you before he realizes your deception. XXY apologizes for not getting there sooner. But he forgot to set his alarm clock. Up any skill. Nice. Finally, she gets to up one of her skills. So, I think she's going to do the same. Mm. Athletics, athletics. There's a lot of athletics. Three of these people is athletics, athletics, athletics. So, she's going to up athletics to two. Her athletics is two. All right. And we have the end of turn. Callie is the crier. Yeah. <laughs> End of turn event. AP Press announce page articles reads. Uh, these times, these are the end of times. Remove Intel from North America. Boy, oh my God, we have nothing in North America. We add Intel to Ma Macaw. Macaw? Macaw. M-A-C-A-U. McCaw. Let's find out where McCaw is. Right over here. There's McCaw right there. And there's an airport there. So she can take the air she can take the airplane over there. Alright. Good job, Callie. Way to go. Uh oopsie. Uh wait, we forgot to do his special mission when he when he was over here in Salvador. That's why he went there. Uh, a disgruntled member of the family seeks you out for assistance. In exchange, he hands over information about Pierre's network. Add a location token to a random city. Okay. So we add a location token to a random city. So random city is Dakar. Uh, that is a location. We're going to, again, shuffle these three up. We don't know who's who. And we're going to add one to Dakar, Africa. Right there. Boom. Okay. 
So we got, ooh, we got two henchmen back to back. That's pretty good. All right. So South America. Nice. North America. Right. We haven't had anything in Africa yet. Africa. Asia. And Europe. Okay. Here we go. Got them all separated now. We got our dice. Here we go. Back in the bag you go. All right. It is Vinny Corner's turn, and he's coming here because if he completes this mission, he gets a special reward, and he's doing it. He's going to go one, two, and come in right there, and uh, he's going to get his secret mission completed. He is going to get a V1 reward, whatever that is. Do, 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 do. V1 reward, huh? Okay, not in there. It must be in here. There it is, V oh, V1 reward. Shuffle together all villain advancement cards in play on Dr. Lobo. Randomly discard a card, then adjust the number on the villain track. Shuffle together all villain advancement cards in play on Dr. Lobo. Shuffle together all villain enhancement cards in play on Dr. Lobo. Not sure how he gets those, but okay. He can use this at any time, uh, but he has an encounter in South America once again. South America has been a very popular location for us. All right. Called Axe. Ooh. Ooh. Roll a D6. We can have a battle with somebody. All right. We'll roll a D6. Come on. Come on. Roll it good. Six. Conduct a gamble action with the following results. If you win, you get in you get an intel. If you lose two injuries, that would knock him out. He's already got one injury, so he needs to win this. Okay. So we here's how you do the we do the gamble action. Okay, here we go. We draw five cards. We're making a poker hand. And then we're taking five cards. We're fighting against a hand right there. Now, this is what we got. Oops, we drew six cards let's discard one of them one two three four five okay we got parrot kings parrot kings now you can discard one card for free you can discard any number of cards but it costs you a resolve and i think with a pair of kings we should be good is he gonna be better than a pair of kings i doubt it we're gonna we're not gonna i'm not gonna spend anything uh, I do get to discard a card, so we'll discard a card for, I think it's for free. Uh, we might as well, we'll discard one card and draw a new card. Oh, it's an ace. Wow. All right, so we got a pair of kings. Let's hope he doesn't beat a pair of kings. And let's see what he gets. He's got a six, nine, queen, five, six, and a pair of sixes. We win. Pair of kings versus a pair of sixes. We win. Woo! -hoo! 
Nice. 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 All right. So we get an Intel. So we just get to add an Intel to his thing. All right. That was good. That was a good turn. That was a great turn. So we've got five Intel over there. He hasn't moved for a little while. That's been good. Uh, end of turn. X KGB seek UN protection. Remove Intel from Asia. Wow, there is all kinds of ones over in Asia. There's actually four in Asia. Wow, that was brutal. We were just headed. We were just headed over there. Uh, and we add Intel to Paris, which is there, and Owen Oud, Owen Oud in USSR, Owen Oud, right there. Uh, airports close in Orso, Orsono, 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 Orsono. Or Sono. Sounds Japanese, but I don't see it over in Japan. No. Uh, or Sono. O S O R N O. Oh, down here. O S O R N O. Airport is closed. Boom. All right. Done. Back to Cali. Let's now she's at an airport that's closed. Unfortunately, she could just fly right over there. That would be awesome. She can't do that. Hmm. And there's no intel over here. That airport's closed. That airport's closed. She can move up to Chicago and then use the airport next time. She's got all of her secret locations done. Hmm. Well, getting over here to get these guys would be a good idea. But, oh, there's an airport in Dakar. So, you know what? She's going to use her car and she's going to drive to New Orleans, to Chicago, to New York. And she's going to have an encounter in New York. She's going to have an encounter in New York. Callie is a crier, but it worked out well. Strange Encounters, 16. Strange Encounters, number 16. Strange Encounters, response group J. Into the Lion's Den, A Strange Obsession, I'm Your Biggest Fan, Good Spy, Bad Spy, Act Uninterested, Be Nice. Strange Encounter. I'm your biggest fan. Number three. 16-3. Sixteen, 16-3. Three. Sixteen, three. And there was no intel in this location. So two. 16-3-2. dot two. All right, you've tracked Pierre to a hotel where his Star Trek convention is being held. You disguise yourself as a Klingon and head up to Pierre's suite. The guards outside sneer at you as you approach and you hear the word geek. Before they realize that you're not a Klingon, you have incapacitated both of them. The geek shall inherit the earth, you mutter. Have, conduct a battle with Pierre. 
All right, it is Pierre time. We haven't seen Pierre so far. Pierre is a self-made billionaire who owns a multinational empire. He is known throughout the world as a man with many on his payroll. Pierre is a man of extreme extravagance and harsh temper, living in palaces all over the world. He goes above and beyond, devising extraordinary methods to make his enemies suffer. Smirsch does not care for his extravagant and ego. Smirsch does not care for his extravagance and ego, but they put up with him since his pockets are very deep. So we need to test Spycraft to avoid his trap. Who is this? Who is who's having this encounter? It is Callie. Spycraft. She, ooh, she's a zero. She's a zero on Spycraft. Bummer. Her Spycraft is zero. That is not good. So she's going to get the plain old die. That's a bummer. That is a bummer because if we fail this, he's going to move up on the track. Come on, Callie. Come on, Callie. You've done it once before. You can do it again. Come on, Callie. Come on, Callie. Heal one again. Hmm. She doesn't have any wounds. So, you know what? She's going to spend a resolve. She's going to reroll. You can only do that one time. Come on, Callie. Nope, fails. Damn. All right. So, with a failure against Mr. Pierre, uh, you actually lower your spycraft, but her spycraft is zero, so it can't go any lower than zero. But, unfortunately, Jerkface is going to move up one notch on the track. And Venice is sinking. Oh, great. That's not good either. So she fails her mission against Pierre. Uh, Pierre does not raise up when you when you fail against them. They don't rank up. They only rank up when you success. Uh, and then uh, that and then we have the end of turn result here. End of turn event. Pierre Peru's new president. Replaces the entire cabinet with Smurfs appoint appointees. Remove intel from South America. We've cleared that all out. And intel to New York. Are you kidding me? That's where she is in. And Ajir. 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 Ajidirs. Ajir, Ajirs? I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. It's A G A D E E. Ajis. Ajis? Um, Ajidis. Ajidis? That's what we're going with. Airport closes in London. I won't be able to go see Rough Swordsman now. Oh, bummer. All right. That was her turn. Another failure. He moved up one. He's up to four now. We need a blue, a yellow, and a red. The red are blue or common, yellow or uncommon, and red are rare. So to have a rare in there somewhere, we need a rare. Might be all red for all we know. We don't know what they are until the end. All right. So obviously getting more of those over there would be good. Back to Vinny. All right, Vinny, you're here in Lima. You need to get to an airport as well. So he's going to go up to Panama City. 
get to an airport because we've got to get over here and get some of that stuff done. All right. <coughs> done okay that is done he's going to have an airport in south america called the action again called the action we're going to have another battle four this is pierre again what is going on pierre what are you thinking spycraft i am too in spycraft this time Ha 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 Pierre. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Two dice. Two good ones, please. Uh, the red's good. The green's not. Green is three successes. Mm. All right. Come on. We need a success. Whoa. Dice. We need a success. Come on. Two successes. Oh, but an injury. Okay. He's taking an injury. But he has defeated Pierre. Pierre, when passes, we get an intel. Because we investigate him. It gives us the information about where Dr. Lobo is going on. But now he's going to level two. Persuasion minus one next time we fight him. All right, so we've defeated three henchmen. We only need to defeat one more, and then we know where Dr. Lobo is. We can go after the final battle. All right, end of turn. Uh, Crown jewels stolen. Violence erupts in Trafalgar Square. Add entail to Stockholm. 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 And the airport closes in Ravovac. 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 Uh, which is out there in Iceland. All right. Done. Callie's turn. All right. She's at an airport. It, oh, what? She's also with Intel. She's also with Intel. Hmm. I think if she goes, now let's just think about this. Let's use our noggin for a second. If we, we have to fight, we have to fight four guys. We have to fought three of them. If we fight one more, then that's it. End of the game, we fight Dr. Lobo. We have to get a blue, a yellow, and a red. We've got two, four, six. So she could fly over, fight, fight one of these guys, and end the game right now. And then we just, do we have enough intel? Do we feel comfortable? The longer we wait, the more he's going to move up the track and the more things we're going to need. So I think, even though she's with intel right there, hmm. Or, you know what? Maybe we let him do it because he's got better stats. He's, he's upgraded it twice so far. I think, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to, because she's with Intel. But if she fails, oh, she fails the mission, right? If she fails the mission, that's, then he's going to, he's going to knock up a notch or two. I think I think we have to I think we have to believe in Callie. We have to believe in her. So she's gonna take the intel. And I'm gonna put this one separate because we're gonna remember that that was the one that might be the winning intel that we need to complete this mission, right? So she's going after the intel. She's gonna move it over there. And now she's gonna have an encounter. North America. North America. It is Dangerous Adversaries, number nine, group G. 
taunt, overreact, stay calm, cry. Ooh, she's pretty good at crying. She's pretty good at crying. Blend in, blend out, and laugh at. I think cry. I think we're going to try the cry again. Four. That's number four. Here we go. Four. Let's do the crying. We're good at crying. Uh, it is nine, four. And there is until there, so it's a five again. So it's number nine, four, nine, four, five. Ooh, that sounds like a good number. Nine, four, five. Nine, four, five. All right. You've been chasing an assassin into a dead end alley. The woman in a skin tight cat suit wields a sickle blade connected by a chain to a spiked weight, which she twirls in the air. Nice knife thing you yell at her. It's called a flail. In Russia, we bury the weight in the traitor's head, then cut them open with the knife. Uh, we can skip that part, you say. Please, pretty please. Don't be such a crybaby, she says. Test hand-to-hand -hand minus one or athletics plus one, but you need two successes if you check chest athletics. Or we pass with speed. We don't own speed. Disguise and electronics. Boy, those have been no help at all. So, hand-to-hand, -hand, she's a one. She's a one or athletics, she's a two, but we need two successes. But she gets a plus one to her athletics. So, the question is, do we want a one dice and one success? Or three dice and we need two successes? One dice and we need one success. Three dice, two successes though. It all depends on how many dice we pull out of the bag and which color they are. Because if we get some good ones, we have a good chance of getting two successes. If we roll, if we draw two crappy dice out of the bag, we got no chance, or very little chance, I should say. Can we get, can we get two successes? Is the question. Can we roll two successes? <sighs> I think we're going to try. I think we're going to try. We're going to draw three dice. And we're going to try. Ooh, we got the black and the red. All right. We got the black and the red. These are the best two done the bag. We need two successes, though. Two successes. Come on. Callie, we believe in you, Callie. Come on, Callie. We believe in you. Come on. Yes! Two successes! Woo, baby! Two successes in the black and the red, just like I said. Wow, lovely. Success it is. Callie's done it again. All right. You duck as she throws the weight and then jump back as she swipes with the blade. She takes a second swing with the weight, but it embeds itself in a loose board you grab from the ground. You pull her to you and wrap the chain around her neck, kissing her on her forehead. You've been a very bad girl. Eventually, she falls unconscious, and you make your escape. Up any one skill, one injury. Ooh, she takes. She actually takes an injury, though. But she can up a skill. Which, which, we will do. He's persuasion, she's persuasion, she's athletics, and athletics. So we have two for athletics and two for, for persuasion. Her persuasion is two, athletics is two, so it's a crapshoot. So she is going to up her persuasion to three. Up it to three. Let's go. And not only that, she's going to use this card right here. 
heal all injuries of any player, including yourself. She's going to heal him to injuries. It doesn't say you need to be together or anything. It just says heal all injuries of any one player, including yourself. And then use any time, then discard. Any time, then discard. Sounds like we're doing that right to me. All right, here we go. It's going to be... It's going to be time. It's time, I think. We're going after. He's in an airport. He's flying. Now, the question is, do we want to go to Dakar? Or do we want to go to the Goss? Because they both have airports. We're going to be fighting one of the henchmen. Do we, uh, we don't want to fight somebody that's level 2 or level 3. We would like to fight Fedor Maximov. Actually, no, we would not. Because he... Is wants persuasion. I have a zero persuasion. So fighting him would be bad. We want one of these two actually. Because if he wants persuasion too. That would be bad. Hmm. Actually. Hmm. Actually. Hmm. Thinking about this. Hang on a second. Because these two want persuasion. These two want athletics. She's actually got three and two. He's got zero and three. So if he, if he fights one of these two, he's sunk. Or do we let do we let Callie? Do we let Callie come over? Hmm. He can he can try to get some more intel for us, and then let Callie try to do the final fight. And I think he is going to do that. So he's going to take an airport. He's going to take the air. He's going to go to Paris, and he's going to he's going to get the intel in Paris. And all he has to do is not mess this up. We're going to Europe. We're going to Europe. All right, first time in Europe. You enable her. Thanks. Looks like fun. Ah, it is fun. This is a classic all-time. They just re-released this game in 2022 in the Deluxe Deluxified Edition. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome game. I really like it. All right, Europe, here it is. Let's see what we got. Break the code 27. Break the code 27C. C. Uh, observe quick action. Trust your limits. With determination, get assistance. Let's have some fun and at all costs. He's really good at athletics. Spycraft is pretty good. Anything but persuasion. So, get assistance. Let's have some fun. Let's try. Let's have some fun. Six. So, it's 27 Six, 27, six, and there is intel there, so it's three. 27, six, three. 27, 27, six, three. All right, there it is. I see the section. We just have to fold the rule book now. 26, I'm sorry, 27, six, three. When a terrorist group tried to blow up the subway with a bomb in a suitcase, you intercepted it, but they caught you, but they caught you, They but they caught up to you before you could get away. The man opens the suitcase and tries to arm the bomb. You changed the code, he screams. Tell me the new code. Oh no, I don't remember what I changed it to. It was, let me see. One, two, three. What was the fourth digit? The man punches you in the face. Test deception or hand-to-hand -hand plus two. And you need two successes. Deception or hand-to-hand -hand 
plus two, we have a one in either one. So we're going to chest hand the can. Uh, and we're going to need two. We pass with electronics. No, she's the one with electronics. No, no. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. Every time it's the other person. Uh, so plus two. So he's going to get three dice. But we need two successes again. Can we get another double success? Can we get another double, please? Wait a minute. Yes, there are two dice in here. Okay. We got the black, the blue, and the green. Oh, no. Those are bad. We need two six. We need one of the green or the blue to roll a, a success. Come on. Okay, we do have All right, he's going to spend a resolve and he's going to reroll the green dice Come on. I needed one more success. We got one. We just need one more Come on get it. Yes Yes Get this at Noble Knight. It's $35 shipped all over that. Yeah, that's a good one. $35 for sure. Absolutely. That's two successes. We got them. Woohoo! Pass. You give him the code. He punches you in the he punches it in the keyboard, but instead of arming the bomb, it detonates a gas grenade you rig to explode. Uh, one resolve, one injury. One resolve, one injury. One resolve. Oh, I gained a resolve and I gained an injury. All right, that's okay. That's all right. All right, end of turn. End of turn. Uh, Japan begins processing of rebuilding military. Despite USA objection, remove Intel in Europe. Oh boy, that would, that's bad too. Um, add Intel to Yes Katerangenberg. Yes to Kander. Yeah, oh, right here. We're, she needed to go there, but she's not going to make it. And then airport closed is the current city. So he is in Paris, so Paris closes. Paris is closed, but doesn't matter because it's all coming down to Cali. Cali is going to fly to Dakar or Lagos, and she's going to fight one of the henchmen, and that's going to that's going to end the game. And we're going to have our final conflict with Dr. Lobo. She, what do you, do we go? All we need is from the crier Cali. That's right. Bad things happen in the ghosts. All right, we're going to Dakar. We're going to Dakar. Let's see who we're fighting. We're going to fight. Ooh, Fedor Maximov. This is this is actually good. Fedor Maximov, who's our only level one. He's our only level one. Fedor Maximov. Fedor has been with Smurf since the 1940s when it was a Soviet organization that existed solely for the hunting and assassination of spies. While most of the organization members left the field of espionage after Smirsh was shut down, Dr. Lobo enlisted Fedor to help build his empire. Fedor has a particularly deep hatred of the West and will not hesitate to take out civilians or spies alike. Twist? Persuasion. To outsmart Fedor. Persuasion. Okay, all we need is a success here, Callie. Persuasion. She's a three. Three dice. Oh, we only need one success. Three dice. Three dice. We got the black and the red. Oh, that's 
That's so good. That is so good. All right, come on. We just need one stinking success. One stinking success. There's two successes. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cali, Cali. There you go. Cali to the rescue. She's done it. She has won. She has beat him. So, uh, she gets to up any skill. And he will go up to level two. She is going to up her spycraft to one in case that ever comes up. Okay, now let's just make sure we're not forgetting anything. Let's see what happens here. Hang on. Resolving tests, resolving tests, blah, blah, blah. Counters, game pieces, resolving tests. I was just looking to see if there's like a detailed explanation. Okay, uh, to bring the end game, players must have between three and five, depending on the number of players, successful encounters against henchmen at city locations with green location tokens. Each successful henchman encounter made in this way allows the players to advance on the location track Located at the main board, this track represents the amount of intelligence gathered at the location of the villain's hideout. Once the location track is at the desired number, the game immediately ends and players flip up and tell. Located at the intel pool, to actually win the game, the players must have the necessary symbols of intel on the intel pool matching the symbol with the last location of Dr. Lobo's pawn on his track. So the game is yes, the game is completely over. We've we've sort of had this at four now. Okay, so we need for Dr. Lobo, he's at rank four. We need a blue, a yellow, and a red. We have all those tokens. All I have to do is flip them up. And if we have a blue, a yellow, and a red, then we've outfoxed him and captured him or whatever. So let's see what we get. We have a Yellow, nice. We have a red. No, that's what is that? What color is that? That's a double agent. That is, I think that is the red one. We have tech. Which are the yellow ones? We we've got everything so far except for the blue, which is interesting. We still don't have a blue. We need a blue one. That's not a blue one either. We still don't have a blue one. There we go. There's the blue. There's this. There's this. We have captured them. Let's see what the one that she rescued was. Oh, it was another. Boy, we have a lot of those. And another blue one so 
We ended up with two blue, three yellow, and three of the red, which means we could have actually... He could have got to number seven and we would have still won. He could have got all the way down to number seven and we would have still won because of all the intel we have there. Way We win! Now, with all that said, there is a... There is a expansion you can get to adds like an end fight where you actually fight him and you roll your you actually roll on the uh, and I'll, I'll simulate it for you guys what we're doing here is um, well we'll simulate this there's there's a there's a special book you can get it's a kind of a hard book to find. Um, it was just basically a, a like a little, like a little sheet, like a little box book like this with directions and stuff. And basically, what it does is it simulates you actually fighting him. And what you do is you start you and we'll put uh, we'll say that this is us. And then so you're trying to whoever makes it down the track farther wins. And um, you're going to be rolling, right? You're going to be rolling. And uh, so like Vinnie Carter, he's got three in athletics, so he's gonna draw three, three things. Oh boy. And so he would do like a little fight. All right. And you just ignore injuries, but any, any, any symbol like this moves Dr. Lobo and then any success moves the jerk. So basically, one and one right now. And then for her, she's got three as well. So we put these back in the bag. And she has a... So it's basically like all your agents fighting him. Wow! Four successes for him. Wow. Well, one, two, three, four. And then uh, you keep going until somebody reaches... I think it's... Uh, I think you get to... Group nine. Now, I think you can actually spend your resolve to re-roll act, re-roll um, dice, which is what we're going to do here in a second. So we're going to need some successes here. We're going to need some successes. There's two successes for us. Only one for him. So he's up to number seven, though. That's not great. All right. We really can use a big success, Callie. Big success, Callie. Let's go. Big success. Callie to the rescue. Here we go. All right. Uh, I'm going to re-roll this. I'm going to spend my influence. Damn. He gets one. We get two. So it's six to eight. He gets one more and it's over. He's going to defeat us. Come on, Vinny. Come on, Vinny. Oh, we got all the good dice, too. Come on, Vinny. Oh, two successes. We'll re-roll. Wow, that is a terrible dice. One success and five failures. And it didn't matter. So... You get two successes, so he just beats us. Nine to eight. But that's kind of simulates like a, a fight at the end where you can use your resolve, you can use your special abilities and stuff. Uh, and kind of have a, instead of having like a, I guess, you know, the one thing about the game, it's a great game to play, but like the end is very anticlimactic. It's like you either flip over the tokens and you win. Or you flip over the tokens and you lose. There's not like this interaction between the heroes, the agents, and the villain. This kind of simulates a fight that you have as you're building up, getting through all those guys to go fight them. Uh, there's some extra rules in there. I'm just kind of simulating what it was like. Uh, you can actually watch, I think Sl Sl Slicker Drips has a playthrough of Agents of Smirsh, and he does like. 
He's got the actual book and he does like the end battle. If you want to watch it, go check out Slick, Slicker Drips. Um, he does an Agents of Smirsh uh, to kind of, that's where I've kind of learned about that. So I might not be doing it correctly. It's something similar to that though. But anyways, uh, that's that's a look at Agents of Smirsh, a game by Jason Maxwell. Fun, interesting game. Very, uh, you know, just action-packed, ready to go, having fun, just uh, doing all kinds of crazy, um, crazy spy-like things. And, uh, yeah, you'll have a lot of fun playing it. If you don't take it too seriously, you'll have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun playing it. It's really good. I like it. I really like it. It's good. Again, you can either do this with the... Uh, the big thick rule booklet and doing all that or you can just use the actual uh, encounter cards there's a huge stack of just encounter cards if you don't want to go through all that trouble you just shuffle these up if you're having an encounter you just flip up you know like here's your Asia ones you just shuffle those up and then you draw one and it's boom here's your here's your text here's your thing here's your outcomes and all that um, but obviously it's very limited because there's only 20 or so per region. So these can get very samey. Obviously use the rule book uh, with has 1600 different encounters or something in there. So if, if you don't want to run into the same encounters over and over and over, use the little rule book. Anyways, um, there is, you know, a nice huge stack. It goes, does give you some nice variability out of the box if you don't want to go through the extra trouble of using that book but uh, I mean you know either way works great obviously once you read these a couple times they'll become very samey you'll see the same ones over and over again so then you know you might want to use the book afterwards thank you for coming by don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this if you want to see more agents of smirsh let me know in the comments section down below if there is one of these heroes that you want to see played. We have the big Afro man. We have the Asian ninja chick. We have the old German soldier. We have the James Bond wannabe. We have the uh, ex-KGB wannabe. We have the South American mafia. We have the secret spy double spy triple spy uh let's see what else we have here who else do we got we got just john doe mr john doe we have yu chang uh, we have sexy sexy we have nerd and we got the big afro man there you go so if you want to see any of these let me know in the comment section down below otherwise We'll see you all next time. Until then, my friends, thanks for coming by. We'll see you all real soon. Until then, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you all down the line. Bye for now.